shit. I can't say everything's stressful. Amazing. Look, uh, Diane, I'm like, you're getting an email communication. You know, don't tell me. Unless I get a clue, I'm not coping. What is this? No, it's, it's just, again, it's astonishing. Uh, uh, Diane Feinstein is correct. She is not the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. She's the ranking member. But Diane Feinstein controls her own time, her own schedule, her own staff. And from July 30th or July 31st, she could have said, look, this is it. This is important. Let's look into this, find out who this person is. Uh, if we don't want to bring her in front of the whole committee, let's bring her to my office and talk to her and see if there's any truth to this. And they just basically sat on this for six, seven weeks and then pulled it out right at the last minute. So uh, Diane Feinstein says nobody to blame but herself for this mess. You just tell you how out of control this is. I want to bring up the senator from Ohio, Rona, was asked about these allegations before this woman's uh, lawyer came out and said she's not coming Monday. Listen to this. Cut six. I expect the men in this country and the men in this committee and many of them believe me because we all signed on to this letter to uh, demand an FBI investigation. But really, guess who's perpetuating all of these kinds of actions? It's the men in this country. And I just want to say to the men in this country, just shut up and step up. Really? Shut up and step up? All men just shut up and step up? So, so I guess all of us men, all 50% of the country are to blame for what's happened here. Extraordinary. Again, this woman brought forth this charge. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. She ought to come forward and tell us what she knows. And if she doesn't do so, the Senate will get on with this and vote on the What about Keith Ellison? Confirmation. What about Keith Ellison? Exactly. Who has his ex-girlfriend or wife say he has pictures of him getting beat up? The son witnessed it. She evidently does video of it. And Medical there's records. no interest in going after Keith Ellison, the number two at the DNC. He wants to be a jail. He wants to be the, he wants to be the attorney general of Minnesota. Where's your outrage there? Don't tell men to shut up. I you're going to tell Keith Ellison to shut, to shut up. up. Yeah, and we also hear from the Democrats, you know, we have to listen to what women need, need to be listened to. Well, how about this woman is accusing the number two man, the Democrat National Committee, of dragging her out of bed by her feet, apparently, uh, beating her, cursing at her, verbally battering her. And as you say, her son says he was an eyewitness to this. Medical records apparently indicate that she was beaten. And the Democrats have no interest in this. They don't want to listen to that woman, and they want her to shut up rather than men to shut up. We have the RNC chair coming up shortly. So I don't know if she'll get into detail on this, but basically you think if Republicans want to win, even though numbers and economics are a dry topic, you believe even in today's days of salacious headlines, you believe it's run on the economy still if they want to be successful in the midterms? I think the Republican Party has an outstanding story to tell between now and Election Day, November 6th, and that is basically to ask people the question, are you better off now than you were two years ago? And just have every American voter think about what was life like in fall of 2016 versus uh, fall of 2018, and you'll find that things have improved dramatically. For example, the stock market's up, the Dow Jones is up 45 percent. Uh, GDP at the end of 16 was 1.9 percent growth for the first half of 16, 3.2 percent right now. Uh, unemployment for blacks and Hispanics is at or near record lows for women, the lowest female adult unemployment rate since 1953. That's under President White David Eisenhower. These are spectacular. Listen to what Chris said about Andro 400. 
I've lost almost 40 pounds in 10 weeks. My son was getting married, and when I went for the suit fitting, I was a size 48. And when I went back to do the final fitting, I was a 44. I have more energy, that's for sure. I probably lost four inches around my belly. I'm 57, and I'm back when I was in my 30s. Here's what Dwayne said about Andro 400. This product really works. I'm an old guy, and I don't trust nobody. And I've tried all kinds of stuff. It's one of the few things I've ever bought that works. I couldn't believe it. I feel better. I have more energy. I walk 12 miles a day. I feel great. It changed my life. It really has. It's really incredible. Guys, if you'd like to lose belly fat, gain energy, and feel great, try Andro 400, the safe, natural, and affordable way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com. Andro400.com. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow Allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guarantee quote.